discombobulator is the magic word for this tutorial. Remember it. We will basically use discombobulator to create these sci-fi panels practically with one click. And I will show you first the principles on the four cube and then we'll create something cool. So basically I will go with uh, shift A, go to the mesh and use discombobulator. You probably don't have this enabled, so you need to go to Edit Preferences. It's a free Blender default add-on. So just go to Add-ons and just type Discombobulator, uh, Discombobulator, and you will have it like that. Enable it, go here, Save Preferences, and you will always have it. By the way, if you're wondering what Discombobulate means, let's check the dictionary. It means to confuse someone or make someone feel uncomfortable. That's one of the definitions, but I'm already confused about the word discombobulator. I never heard that word before Blender, so something new I learned with the Blender because English is not, not my first language, so obviously. I don't know if you, your English native speaker, people here knew about that discombobulate word before. Just let me know down there in the comments. I'm really curious about that. All right, so the idea is to go to edit mode and select any face you want to apply these like sci-fi panels, say like that, the discombobulator. And I will use all the faces, so I will go back to the object mode and I will press Shift A, Mesh Discombobulator. And we have this menu. We can tweak all these settings here, but I will just press OK and we have this default view. So let me quickly go to Cavity and maybe to both just to see a little bit better here what's going on. OK, so we have this. The beauty is that we have this side menu here, Discombobulator, and we can open it and we can set uh, we can check make protrusions that's already set. We can set the minimum and maximum height and taper minimum maximum and uh, all these settings. I will not go through all of them because I'm basically using just this and it's really simple and easy. So also we have usages for information that says that works only on quads, not on triangles, not on n-gons. So make sure you do have a quads and also work with the mesh objects that have faces. That's really important. You can read all of this later, some limitations and uh, some like uh, note that be careful because it will go high on your CPU and memory if you overdo it, etc. So minimum and maximum height means practically minimum and maximum height of these protrusions. So I will go with minimum to zero. I like that. And with maximum, I can play whatever I want. Just by changing this, we're having some crazy figure here. And also taper, we can set the minimum taper, for example, zero and maximum also we can set zero to have only quads or we can set any taper, what, whatever we want. The negative thing, the downside of this discombobulator add-on is that, for example, I like this shape and I want to use it to create, I don't know, space station or spaceship or whatever. If I change the taper, whatever I'm doing here, whatever I'm changing, I will change the shape. It will always, always go some random shape. Also, if I don't do anything, just click here and press enter again, it will go different some random shape. So that's the downside. I would like to have a random slider and then to change the minimum, maximum height and all other settings. This is why I like to use some other plugins that are paid, but uh, I'm showing you this completely free thing here. And again, you can do awesome things with it with this. Uh, also, if you now uh, see this, it's a separate mesh, the cube it's un touched its default cube. So we can use this, this mesh to go to the edit and then go to right click and subdivide. And now with this subdivision, we can go back. So you, you see everything is selected. You can deselect, for example, some faces that you don't want to use. Let's just use deselect this for test. And then go again, mesh discombobulator, just press OK. We have a huge mess here, but now we can go with 0 0.02, for example. And we have these panels, I don't want taper and I can deselect this one and this is how it looks. I can always leave it back, but it doesn't matter. So this is really, really simple and easy way to create these cool sci-fi shapes with these panels quickly and easily. Now let's go and create some space station. Again, really simple and easily using the same method. So I will delete this. I will select everything, actually I'll delete everything. Let's go with the cylinder because cylinder is something that I want to use to make the basic shape of sci-fi station, actually space station. And uh, I will go like that, right click, uh, shade smooth by angle. If you're using older version of Blender, just go with shade smooth. And here you will have this uh, shade smooth angle thing on the normals. It's in Blender 4, it's uh, switched to this kind of menu. All right, so here I will go to face edit, 
select this face, I to insert it a little bit like this, then E to extrude it, I to insert it again, and again E to extrude it, something like that. Also on the downside, E to insert, I to extrude it a little bit more, S to scale it, then again I to insert, E to extrude it, and one more time I to insert and E to extrude it. And this is a basic shape of space station, regular space station like that. I will tweak it a little bit. I will go to edges and select these, oops, these two edges and S, Z and scale it on Z. So like that. And also I will select this one by holding Alt and Option or Option on a Mac and this one by holding Shift and Alt or Shift and Option. You can see by the way here what I'm pressing and then S and Z to scale it a little bit on Z axis and we have something cool like that. Also, we can just go and select these faces, I to insert it like that and Alt E and extrude faces along normals and go a little bit inside just to make some cool shape like that. And also now that we are doing this, we can go back to edges, control R and just go make a few edges, maybe three, four, I don't know, one, two, let's go with, let's go with four. All right. And then go to faces Alt and select Shift Alt and select. And then we can go again with Alt E, extrude along normals and go inside maybe. Huh? Yeah, inside, go back and I will go right click and shade smooth by angle to fix it. This is really cool, basic shape of space station. Now we will use a discombobulator, a magic word for this tutorial. So before that, let's see what we will select. Now we have selected this, but we don't want that. I want to select Let's go press one to go to the front view, Alt X to go to X-ray mode. And I will select this like that, holding shift, select this and this and this and nothing else. Let's double check. Yeah, seems cool. And uh, let's go back to the object mode, shift A, mesh discombobulator and let's press OK. Wow, already looking really cool, but it's too much for now. Let's go with 0 0.02. Mm -hmm. Okay, or maybe 0 0.01. Let's see. Ah, for a start, this is not bad. We can leave it like that. I pretty much like it. If I don't like it, I can always undo it. And what I don't like here, I want to basically go with Control R and add edge loop here and control our edge loop here and edge loop here. The idea is that every polygon here will uh, be affected by that discombobulator will add that panel on the top. So if you have more polygons dense mesh, you will have more of these uh, additional meshes polygons on top of everything. So I want like that and let's go back and select again everything that we want to be selected. So this, this, this and this. And now again, let's go back to the object mesh discombobulator, press OK. And I think now it's much better. I like it. And I will leave it like that for now. Maybe we can go with 0 .0, 0 0.02. Let's see. Mm, leave it like that. OK, now let me show you a trick. I want to select this this original cylinder and go to the faces and select this stop face. And if I go with discombobulator to this, I cannot do anything because this is N gone. And we can fix this by going to X and delete face. And now go to the edges, select by holding Alt, the whole ring around the whole circle, and then go with Control F and fill it with the grid, grid fill. Now we can rotate if you want. Now we can use this combobulator because here we have quads. And now I will show you a really cool trick. And that's if we scale it first, control A and scale it, go to this combobulator and press OK. We have this, but I want here to have maybe one. Woo, see, maybe 0 0.5. Let's see. That's even better. Maybe taper 0 0.2 or maybe two. We have something like a city. Maybe two is too much. Maybe not one, one is too much, maybe, 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 maybe 0 0.5. Yeah, this looks maybe 0 0.7. Come on, 0 0.7. Yeah, this looks like a city and you can use it on a 
plane to subdivide the plane and create something like a crazy city, etc. Okay, this is one thing. Then another thing, we can go with this object right here with this discombobulated object that we made. And uh, what we can do here is to go to edit mode, right click to select any of these faces and then go to the select and select random. That's cool. Then control minus to minus the selection. We can go with control plus again to have something like that. Perfect. And we have some additional selections here. If you don't want to mess with these selections here, you can always go with uh, X-ray mode, Alt and Z and press and hold control and just deselect all of these because I don't want that. I just want to have it. Oh, we missed this part right there, but we can easily add it. So basically, I want to just use these ones. So go to the object mesh discombobulator and just press OK. Yeah, I know it's crazy because we don't want taper. We want 0.01, .01, for example, or more 0.02. And let's try to see what we're, what's going on. Yeah, it's a little bit better, maybe 0 0.04. Yeah, something like that. We have some cool objects here. And also if we go back and select this bottom part here and just these and control R and add a few loop cuts like that and then select these faces. Come on, come on, I want, oops, I want this, I want this, this, this and discombobulate it. So shift A, mesh, discombobulator, press OK. Wow, we have it here, 0.02, for example. We have this repeat protrusions. We can see it will make a new discombobulated mesh. If you go with two, OK, did it again and made a new one. So this is crazy. Uh, make sure that don't overdo it because your blender and computer will freeze. So I will go with just one for this example. And this looks cool and I really like it. And uh, we can do it also with this. If we want something, we can go and add different materials. We can, let's go with different matcaps just to see how this looks. And yeah, it's really cool space station. Let's go here to flat and single, maybe, maybe a little bit bluish, whatever, just for fun to see how this looks. I really like it. I can hide the background. And this is what we have. Let's add the shadow. I like to add shadow like that. We can go here to this uh, options and add direction. So yeah, this is cool. And I really like how this uh, how we made uh, this really cool sci fi station really quickly, really easily using discombobulator and it turned out really cool. Let me know what are you using discombobulator for if you're using it at all. And I'm using it basically for making these kind of sci fi panels, objects and things like that. Also making the cities like this top part of uh, the space station, but I'm not selecting every single polygon here. I'm just selecting few polygons on the plane and just like extracting and making things like that. It's really cool for that. Right. If you want to learn how to unwrap things in Blender and to apply proper UVs, check out this video right here and see you there. Bye bye.